Good day class. Today I will teach you how to construct kinematic diagrams for our mechanical manipulators. Okay. So first, kinematics is the science of motion that treats the object the subject without regard to the forces that cause it. So we will study about how to make our mechanical manipulator moves without the forces that causes it. This is true mechan this is true what we call the kinematic diagram. So the kinematic diagram is a diagram that shows how the links and joints are connected together when all of the joint variables have a value of zero. So this is an example of a kinematic diagram. Okay, so kinemat so you can always see kinematic uh, diagrams in a robotics research paper like this. So this is from P. Saraf and R. N. Ponalagus, modeling and simulation of a point-to-point -point spherical articulated manipulator using optimal control. In our lecture, this is how we will. Construct a kinematic diagram to make it easier for you to understand the construction of each part of our kinematic diagram and for the for our future calculations of forward kinematics and inverse kinematics. Okay, so to draw a kinematic diagram you should first start on its uh, basic parts. So our kinematic uh, diagram has the basic parts of of a mechanical manipulator. So this is the base. So this is the base. This is these are the joints, the links, and the end effector. Okay. So our end effector here it's just a simple uh, point, okay? The last uh, part or the last point of our mechanical manipulator, okay? So the joints and links that we only need here in uh, constructing our mechan or our kinematic diagram diagram are twisting or revolute joints and prismatic or orthogonal joints okay so for our twisting or volute joints we have here a cylinder shaped representation of uh, revolute joints or the twisting joints okay so this represent this also represents a dc motor or sir sorry it's not a dc motor it's a servo motor okay servo motor so this is this is the stator while this one is the rotor okay so this one okay above the standing uh, cylinder is a lying uh, cylinder okay it's a lying cylinder which is also a twisting uh, joint then this one Okay, this will represent as the revolute joint. Okay, in this uh, revolute joint, the stator, the sorry, the rotor is at the middle of the, the the body of the cylinder. Okay, this is because okay, this uh, represents a revolute joint, a joint that looks like our uh, elbow joint. Okay, that's why it's at the middle of the the cylinder's body okay so what this really looks like is the stator is here okay and extended here okay so it is it's it is drawn like this without okay without this uh, extended length yeah sorry extended link uh, to make it easier for us to draw next is the prismatic linear or orthogonal joints okay it represents the 
prismatic joints as a uh, cube with a projecting square. Okay, so I'm for I forgot to tell that uh, our joints are drawn in isometric view, and the three views that we are projecting here are the front view, right side view, and top view. So this, okay, sorry. So this uh, cube looks like this. So we are projecting only three views. So it should be look like this. Okay. And this another one. Okay, so to lessen the conf confusion of how this cube works. Okay. So let's erase this. Let's erase this. Let's erase this. Okay. Then there is a projecting uh, square. Okay. So whenever there is a projecting square in our uh, prismatic joint, there uh, it is the it represents the direction of translation. Okay. Example here the uh, projection of translation or the projection show the, the projecting square shows the translation is rightward okay here the translation is rightward while here the translation uh, projected is upward okay so these are the joints we needed in our uh, construction of kinematic diagram for our for our uh, mechanical manipulators. So let's have a sample of how to construct a, uh, a kinematic diagram for our mechanical manipulator. So I will make this split and then another uh, one note. Okay. So our first example is a cylindrical manipulator so a cylindrical manipulator cal manipulator okay just a second i will show a mechanical uh, manipulator so that uh it will lessen the confusion of what kind of a robot are we constructing okay so this is a cylindrical manipulator it has a, a, a revolute prismatic and prismatic joints okay so i just like to remind you that uh, we will constructing a three degrees of freedom Cylindrical spatial manipulator, okay, with a revolute prismatic prismatic joint. So this is will be the uh, model of our construction of our uh, kinematic diagram const construction. So we will need to have a revolute joint. Sorry, we need to have a twisting joint. A revolute joint that is standing. Okay. Let's uh, erase this. Uh, next. We need a prismatic joint. That is uh, translation. Is upward. Okay. Then. Okay, let's. Uh, let us fix. Let me fix first the alignment. Okay, this is uh, fine. Then next, a prismatic joint that uh, that its uh, translation, the direction of its uh, its translation is rightward. Okay. 
So again, we are projecting here three views. The uh, front view, the right side view, and the top view. Okay. So let's draw our uh, kinematic diagram first like this. Okay. Then for the purpose of our uh, next next uh, lecture, okay, I extended I extended the last link for our kinemat for our uh, end effector, okay, because uh, we will uh, deal more with other parts of this kinematic diagram and the uh, other rules of constructing a kinematic diagram. So this is our first example of constructing a mechanic uh, a kinematic diagram of a 3 degrees of freedom cylindrical spatial manipulator. Okay? So it is like constructing a toy okay? or uh, constructing a puzzle. Okay? So in our next lecture, I will uh, teach you the labels of our kinematic diagram.